afternoon, fine day in Wisconsin. I'm here with Devin Burge of Reaper Tactical. I'm John Huber, the trigger guy from Huber Concepts. I do triggers and muzzle brakes. Devin, what do you do? I manufacture firearms. What I have with me here today is my RTF LE full auto lower receiver available for law enforcement agencies, militaries, and class three dealers. Now we're out here today to test some theories on, on muzzle brakes and how it affects your shooting in a couple of aspects. Number one, on a bolt gun, you have to absorb the recoil through the shot. In a semi-auto or full auto configuration, uh, that recoil is not apparent to the shooter as such. In other respects though, it affects the uh, target alignment of the gun between the shots, so it actually improves your recovery time for subsequent fire. Uh, the whole idea is to reduce time in the shot for the shooter and better on target time. So we're going to run some 10 round magazines in a couple of different configurations. First with this muzzle brake in semi-auto fire and full auto fire. Then we're going to switch over and we're going to see what the Huber square brake does to both of those conditions, semi and full auto. And the difference should be apparent. Your, the group size on target it should be about half of what it was prior. Uh, you'll, you'll be putting all your rounds on the target before you know it. Okay, we're going to let Devin take shots on the targets this is 100 yards, semi-auto fire, first magazine, 10 rounds. And he's going to see what his break does for his shooting style. Now, I'm believing that he's really good, whether it's a fast or a slow trigger or lots of bullets all at once. First break is the Overkill Customs Bully Break, also made here in Wisconsin. Be a nice benchmark for this test. semi-auto. That's full auto with that particular muzzle brake. Please notice when you repeat this or if we repeat the filming you should see a different action on the gun and a different clown, uh, smoke signature at the muzzle. Pay attention as we compare these muzzle brakes and the function of, of them in semi or full auto. Okay at this time we're going to take a conventional round brake and we're putting on a four inch muzzle brake. Uh, it has 22 ports, lines up, it's meant to vector the gas column away from the bullet at speed, minimizing any pressure ridges in that vicinity. And we use 17.4 pre-hard stainless steel in its construction, and we also can laser engrave camouflage or other patterns on it. It can also be melanited for a black finish to match your gun. All right, this will be the Huber Square Break in a 10 round semi auto configuration. semi-auto. Ten more rounds, we're going to go full auto with a Huber Square brake. Now note, he feels some of this recoil coming off this brake. 
He's going to give us his observations on what he feels behind the gun. observations here yeah brass monkeys performance is excellent um, brake reduces significant recoil Ten. I'm able to stay on target very well with this brake um, overall I would say it is a, a very very well performing brake do you find a distinction in the two brakes as you're firing on the target um, to be honest very little oh, no. Very little. Both brakes are extremely effective. Have you ever, uh, you, with, how do you think this would react on a pistol configuration? I think it would be extremely controllable. Okay. Why don't we give it a try? Yeah, actually. Now, this is a typical one-handed operation uh, pistol. Okay. what that thing's going to do. Do you dare do this full auto, Deb? Let's do it. Ho-ho! Very no. confident in the performance of the brake. I think even on a full auto one hand, um, target uh, rifle will remain on target. Safety downrange. Have bad. you done one-handed with your back. other brake? I have not. Okay, so you aren't even sure what to expect yourself. Not completely. What would you ex expect to see? The gun rise up? A little bit of rise, most likely. Yes. Okay, so we're looking for that gun to stay pointed at the target, right? Yes. So your recovery time for each particular shot is? Should be shorter. Very short. that would be an improvement in those situations where you actually have to use that one-handed rifle or pistol yes okay yep uh, do you think it improves your accuracy as you're going on the target absolutely absolutely a little bit of rise initially just because it's I'm one-handed shooting um, you still have some recoil a little bit of rise in the muzzle but after that initial rise it stayed right where I held it would you like to do it again Let's go ahead. Okay, now I was the right target should be clean, right? It should be empty. Uh, what if we put some holes in it and see actually what we can do right. with some accuracy fires? Back, grab the camera and back it up.
Is that recoil coming back to you as you're shooting, or do you feel it staying in front of very you? Very little. Very little recoil. It's so it's not doing a, a wave wrap around to the operator? No. Uh, a lot of these brakes out here wrap the noise right around. There you go. 30. This is the end. Beautiful prayer. This is the end. My.